As far as I could remember, I've always been good to other people. I never stole from anybody. I never interrupted others' conversations, never blackmailed, never put people under pressure, never provoked others, and never got into fights. But that doesn't mean these actions never crossed my mind. That doesn't mean I've never wanted to do any of it. The truth is, I'm a coward. Everyone is a coward. Whenever you see a man sitting, in a dark corner and staring at a woman, hiding his look whenever she feels it and looks back on him. You know his act is not an act of politeness, rather than an act of cowardice. This man is me, a voyeur, afraid to show my eyes, as the eyes are the mirror to the soul. However, it is not the soul that we see in our eyes, as if it was. I would no longer hide my eyes, as my soul is as pristine and genial as a refraction of the morning sun's beam of light in a drop condensed from fog. In turn, as a result of yesterday's rain being evaporated by the warmth of the new day's sun, my soul is a refraction which is about to disappear as a drop is about to fall from a flower into the mud below. And the yesterday's rain was God's punishment and my mother's tears. And the ground it hit was a desert in my father's heart. And when the rain and the desert mixed together and became dirt, it was the cold and the dark of the night was my parents' life together in hell. And the flower that was seeded is a black thorn in my body. And what evaporated from it into a drop is my mind, so dense with dirt that it heals down into the dirt, which is hell.